on the border of Wales, a historic gem is awakening. And as one narrow gauge railway reaches its greatness, another is finding its way to it. A journey with no destination is an adventure. And the adventure can take you anywhere. The Glyn Valley Tramway Trust goes on tour to Stadtfold Country Park. We're at Statford Barn today and it's an air of excitement. It's their model railway weekend and behind me is the, uh, the Glyn Valley Tramway Trust stand. And it's got the model of the station there, got some books for sale, some mugs and some special badges. Statford Barn is a trust and it's the Statford Barn Narrow Gauge Trust and it was formed in 2017. But look what's achievable in a short space of time. This was a sheep shed before it was turned into a roundhouse and now there's a turntable, narrow gauge engines. Great to see so many people just come to visit to look at these exhibits. This is one of the first seven and a quarter inch engines I drove and it's great to be sat on it and it's great to get your hands dirty. You can't do that in some museums. I love it. Our story is somewhat similar because to achieve big things you have to take really big strides. What the Glidden Valley Tramway is doing is taking them big strides because your presence on social media, the stuff that you put out there on digital media is fantastic. The younger railway enthusiasts that are just sort of setting off on their railway dream journey and we can attract different visitors, different enthusiasts to a railway that hasn't been around for very long. It's a bit of a shrunk down stand and it's been partly made in a marquee in my garden for the winter and it's a 16 mil live steam layout with a building made by Brunel Models and we've bought the station bit today and we've bought a couple of other sections of this to make a display stand and it's getting a lot of attention. A lot of people have seen on social media the progress being made at Chirk and they're happy with it and there's money going in the tin, there's donations being made and I'm really proud of that. A collective of us has put this effort in and we're rebuilding the Glyn Valley Tramway. What you've done and what you've achieved in that really short amount of time is phenomenal and it echoes what we did and I think that you're at the, the similar stages to us and when we were at the start that you have to take big strides and I think the Glyn Valley Tramway have taken really big strides in what they've done early doors with the, the station and it, that being in the public eye is a really good thing. The physical strides you're taking that will put stand you in really good stead for the years going forward. There was a lot of progress made before I got involved and before several other members got involved. Everyone's going to have a bit of vision and a bit of insight. And what we've done at Chirk in a short space of time has been a little bit amazing. Just to be sat in this room, things do happen. And if you put your heart and soul into it, look what can be achieved. This all started in someone's back garden and now it's the national collection for the narrow gauge world. From what people dream of, you can achieve quite a lot. And I think the Glyn Valley is going about what they want to do in a really good way. It's getting it to members of the public as well as just railway enthusiasts. And I think everyone working together and helping each other in the railway world, they can achieve a lot. I think it's really important that we all work together. And I think projects like the Glyn Valley Tramway, people want to achieve because if you haven't got dreams, then you won't achieve anything. The journey so far, I wouldn't call it a journey, I'd call it an adventure because even just in the history of Statford Barn it all started somewhere and it started in Graham Lee's garden, it's now 
a big estate full of narragate locomotives and trains. The Glyn Valley Tramway is a sleeping beauty in my eyes, but it's awakening and I think the work you're trying to do is to reinstate as much as you can in the best way you can, but be realistic. We're all getting a bit older um, and I feel this myself sometimes. I feel myself well enough when I say this because uh, you have a bit of a short time on this earth and you've got to do with it the best you can. And I think the guys at Chirk realise this and just passing it on for the next generation is important. And that was important to me as well. Um, in my upbringing, people passed on their wisdom and their knowledge and I'll be always eternally grateful for that. And if I can pass the same knowledge on and in, inspire the next generation, I think it's going to be a good thing. Thank you.